congratulations if you're trying to move to us have friends or family over here or you are a resident living out of the states and now planning to come back and pursue your career over here in the united states this video is all about you and your pharmacy career over here in the united states of america these are the six steps that you're required and you should be doing before moving to the us brace up make your mind start searching the options start googling if you are about to pursue your career over here in the united states as a pharmacist or you are going to change your career and do something else over here instead number two do your homework so you made up your mind of what exactly you're going to do or um what career are you going to choose over here in the United States? Let's say you are going to become a licensed pharmacist. Well, you are a licensed pharmacist, but not over here. You are a licensed pharmacist in the country that you earned your degree in. So start Googling how much you're going to make, which is like the biggest motivation, I swear, how much licensed pharmacists make over here in the United States. It was the biggest motivation for me and I'm sure it will be for you too. So um, yes, get to know the exams over here, get to know the things, how how pharmacy works over here in the United States because chances are things would be pretty much different from the ones that you're accustomed to seeing in your home country. Number three, start studying. I get so many DMs every single day asking me when is the right time to start studying as an undergraduate student if you're about to move to the United States and the answer to that lies within yourself. So know your weaknesses. I always always tell students to know your weaknesses, know what subjects you're good in. Are you good in oncology? Are you a medical, medicinal chemistry type of person? Do you like maths better? Do you like staying in the labs and mixing ointments or whatever? But know where you lack attention and then start paying attention on that subject from the beginning, like from day one. Number three, next comes TOEFL. So for those of you who have been following me on this channel, they know I share quick tips to um, get your dream score in the TOEFL exam, which I will link somewhere over here. But for those of you who don't know, I also share quick tips on TOEFL exam and how to pass that and get your dream score. So check out my channel for that and start preparing for that exam. So because many of the students who are living in, in different countries other than the United States, they have good English, they have I mean, they're, they're fluent, they're everything, but they, they end up failing TOEFL because there are certain requirements and there are certain tips and tricks that need to be followed. So yes, pay attention to that. Also TOEFL or IELTS um, is super important if you are applying for your master's degree or any other degree in the United States of America, even in Canada and um, also in London, I believe, or London has a different exam. But yes, uh, if you are going for United States or Canada, TOEFL or IELTS is a must must even if you're not pursuing your pharmacy career or you're not even a pharmacist, you are going um, to a university for your master's degree or even your bachelor's degree, you would need to pass that exam in order to make it over here. So yes, start researching, start, um, if you like my tips, go ahead, check them out. They're absolutely free. They're, to, they're there to help you. Or if you like somebody else, there are millions of people teaching TOEFL all over YouTube. Try following that, get a good command on your English, know the tips and tricks and prepare yourself to earn a very good score in TOEFL and IELTS. Number five, like I mentioned before, know your weaknesses. So in this case, if you're if you are a pharmacy undergraduate student watching this video, your biggest weakness would be pharmacology. When I was in my first semester, I was told that pharmacology forms the new bone of pharmacy. For those who don't know, new bone means backbone. And I literally, literally spent 10 semesters wondering why in the world they would they teach me the diseases states or the so very hard chemical conduction pathways and, and what importance does ADP holds in my life? And I got the reply to that once I passed my TOEFL, once I was there sitting in the exam room giving my TOEFL exam. Pharma pharmacology is super, super, super important and it's important to pay attention to that from the very first semester. So you don't have to work your way all over again when you start giving exams over here. So yes, make sure you make your pharmacology very, very, very strong. There's a there's an excellent book for pharmacology which I recommend um, students to um, study from to, for passing this first exam over here in the United States, the FPGEE. It's it's called uh, Pharmacology by Lippincott and I'll also put a link to it in the description down below and I have an entirely different video um, stating all the books that, that are required to pass the first exam over here which I will link somewhere over here. And point number six, would be last but not the least get your documents arranged speak to the administrative department of your college get to know how much time your college is going to take to um, release your degree most colleges um, take about six months to a year in my case it was different I had to go from here all the way to my home country to expedite things and stuff and 
it was it was a pain so if you get these things done beforehand it will be less hassle for you also get your good standing letter made and um, get to know how much time they're going to record to release your license as a pharmacist in your home country because these documents will be required when you're um, going to apply for the exam over here or when you're going to uh, in case to be eligible to um, sit for the sit for different exams in the United States of America. Again, if this video provided you any value, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. I will try to answer as many questions as I can and I'll see you next time.